know, the Thompson, Fundi the Thompson Reuters Foundation is all about news and information, of course, because we have the same principles as Reuters, and we have a lot of journalists covering humanitarian issues and women's rights issues around the world. Um, we have a team of 25 journalists writing in English, plus a team in Egypt writing in Arabic and also in English for Aswad Masriya. So in the end it's almost 40 journalists we have around the world, so it's, it's a lot. And we cover issues that nobody covers, uh, which means that it, uh, it is the, the, the crisis in the world, the humanitarian issues, the, when there is a big disaster, etc and also women's rights and the goal is to give uh, to help women know their right and defend their right and in the end get a job and as the difference between a man and a woman is that the woman spends most of her salary 70 75 percent of her salary in the family where the man don't always do if you help women know their right and find a job you tackle at the very root of poverty so this is what we try to do well, you know, in, in Thompson Reuters Foundation, we do traditionally training of journalists around the world, and we do some ma massively. I think last year we have we have trained uh, 130 courses around the world in every language, and every course is one week with uh, usually 12 journalists in it. So we train a lot of journalists around the world. What happened is that we trained journalists in Egypt before the revolution and after they came back, some of them came back to us and said there, there is a need in Egypt for uh, a, a, an independent news website which is not biased, which is not you know, politically partisan. And so we decided very quickly, in six weeks indeed, to create a Swat Masriya and it is in Arabic and in English uh, in a second uh, leg of the project. We did it also in English, but uh, it's essentially in Arabic. And it is a huge success because you have uh, the biggest traffic possible on uh, a news website in, in Arabic. So it just showed that there was a need in Egypt for independent news and accurate news. So I think it is a big success and I wanted to do that only for one year but then it has been such a success that the funders asked us to 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 go on for two more years so so we, we will do that and uh, it's a very exciting project and it just show how uh, independent information is important for any country frankly but in Egypt in particular in this situation I think it's good they can refer somewhere where they have independent news. For the foundation, the future is big because we had no idea, for instance, 15 months ago when we launched Aswat Masriya that it would be as successful as it is. So now it has grown, we are now adding uh, business coverage on Aswat Masriya, which we didn't do at the beginning, so we are going to cover business and finance in Egypt. Uh, we are uh, in Trust Law, we launched it two years ago, two years and a half ago, we were 180 members when we launched and today we are more than 1,000. It's growing by the week, so it is 750, almost 800 NGOs and social enterprise who are members now and that we help with lawyers. You know, the, the, the sky is the limit. Uh, mm -hmm. We will probably be 1,500 members at the end of this year in Trust Law. Uh, Aswad Masriya will have grown in, into new fields and business, etc. So, you know, we, we just follow the growth and it has been a growth story since five years I took over the foundation. So it's a good thing. <laughs>